Big breaking news now coming in with regards to the Kulgam anti terror encounter operations currently underway. Army sources have informed CNN News 18 that body of a terrorist has been spotted this morning at village in Kulgam, taking the number of killed terrorists from four to now five in two ongoing encounters in Kulgam. We'll bring you more details about it, for which we have seen in News 18's Ishan Bani joining us back on the broadcast. Ishan, please walk us through this fifth body now being spotted by the army forces. <clears throat> well, yes, uh, it's at another encounter spot uh, where in the morning through a drone uh, that another body was spotted in Mondragam area. Uh, there are two encounters that are going on in Kulgam uh, in which one, four militants have been killed. The body have been spotted uh, in the compound of the house where the encounter was going on. But another body has now been spotted in another location where another encounter is taking place in the same district. Uh, we are told that the body has been found and uh, there are chances of more militants hiding in the vicinity. At least five of them have now been killed. And uh, two army jawans, including uh, one from the para, has also succumbed to the injuries. Uh, we are told yesterday that during the initial burst of fire, uh, the army personnel received uh, critical bullet injuries bo at both the spots and they were removed to the hospital, but uh, they, they couldn't survive and later on succumbed to these injuries. These are important operations that the forces are carrying out. Uh, given the fact that Amana Yatra is going on, they wouldn't want to take any chances and want to ensure that uh, these militants are hiding in these Kulga and South Kashmir. Villages who could potentially threat or target Amarnath Yatra are eliminated by long time. And that precisely seems to be the case where intelligence input was received about presence of these militants in a village. And that's when security force launched an operation and uh, now resulting in the killing of five militants. But uh, five, four, two soldiers also losing their life in action. Also, Ishan, do we have any information about uh, more of the terrorists being in hiding at this point of time coming in straight from our army sources? Uh, well, yes, police sources have indicated uh, that there's a possibility of uh, one or two more at uh, both the locations. And that's why a tight cordon has been maintained around the vicinity and security forces are ensuring that uh, no one is allowed to exit or enter uh, the cordon area. Uh, given the fact that uh, this is a residential house, so security forces are taking precaution while carrying out these operations. Uh, while what we have also been told by security forces is that the joint team of the Indian Army JNK police and the CRPF have surrounded all these locations where this gun battle is now taking place. Uh, this is intelligence-based input on which uh, this operation was carried out. Uh, these uh, men are believed to be from the Hezbollah Mujahideen outfit, and this will act as a big blow to the outfit, given the fact that the sources are also indicating uh, that uh, some of them are uh, the commanders or the heads of uh, these outfits in a particular district and have been instrumental for several years. But for that, one has to wait and watch uh, for the forces to conclude the operation. That's when they'll be able to give a better clarity on who all have been killed in this particular encounter. Right, Ishan. Thank you so much for putting all of that into perspective so far. We'll keep coming back to you for more details on that. Right now, shifting.